So did you all happen to notice that Polkadot jumped up to 50 bucks today, right around there? There is a reason for that. Now, I did put urgent on the thumbnail, and the reason for that is I've been preaching how the Polkadot parachains were going to start on 11-11-21, but we got some news today that with a community vote, it is likely that the parachain auctions are going to start and will be ready to roll on 11-4. So the fourth of this month, which is this week, hence why the price of polka dot jump like that. And I truly do believe we're just getting started. So I'm glad that I got those other polka dot parachain slot auction videos out because this is the fifth in a five part series of the polka dot parachain picks. So today we're going to talk about Fala Network, one you definitely want to keep your eyes on. And we're going to start off by talking about the good old web. Let's start off with web 1.0. Web 1.0 was the first stage or iteration of the internet. There were not many content creators, and most internet users were consumers. It was characterized by few people creating content and more people on the internet consuming content. Web 1.0, really it was new for everyone. A few people creating the content and the masses consuming that content. Almost like television, if you will. There's a lot of different variety of shows and all that, but ultimately, over the years, few stations, they put out the content, and the masses watch it. Then we have Web 2.0. Web 2.0 refers to the websites that emphasize user-generated content, ease of use, particularly culture and interoperability for end users. The term was coined by Darcy Danucci in 1999 and later popularized by Tim O'Reilly and Dale Dougherty at the first O'Reilly Media Web 2.0 conference in late 2004. Right now, we are moving from Web 2.0, still heavily into it, into Web 3.0. As mentioned, content creators, we see them everywhere. It's what you're consuming right now, watching this video, and we're seeing more and more people starting to create content. As we moved deeper into Web 2.0, we needed cloud storage. And what many of you may not be aware of is there are massive warehouses all over the place housing the servers that store the massive amounts of data that we have to consider with the content creation and all the media that's put out there. So I literally remember the first time I heard about the cloud, and I was like, what is that? Well, quickly, everyone figured out what the cloud was. And here's just to name a few of the largest data cloud service providers of 2021. AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, and IBM. Now, I'm pretty sure many of you aren't really aware fully what's going on with your data, but I'm sure you know this. You look up a bike online, and for the next 10 years, Facebook wants to show you ads about a bicycle. Yes, it's very annoying. Data is the most important thing probably on the face of this earth at this point from a technological standpoint. Now, let's talk about Web 3.0, and that's where Fala Network comes into the fold. Web 3.0 will be decentralized. In Web 3.0, data will be connected in a decentralized way, unlike Generation 2.0 of the Internet in which data is primarily stored in centralized storage locations. In Web 3.0, users will also be able to interact with data through the use of AI and machine learning technology. Ultimately, Web 3.0 will combine the concepts of the semantic web with AI. Web 3.0 is going to include artificial intelligence. By now, we kind of all know that we're moving that way. I mean, we've got cars that will be driving themselves. It really is like the Jetsons, or will be. 
To deliver us the new way of cloud storage in Web 3.0, we have Fala Network. And I know I beat this into the ground, talking about the interoperability. Yes, Fala Network will be interoperable with the other parachains. By the way, if you haven't seen my other Polkadot parachain picks, click the link up above and you'll see all the possibilities of what those other parachains are bringing to Polkadot, which all those possibilities will be opened up as well because of the interoperability. Fala Network is a privacy-preserving cloud computing service in the Web 3.0 ecosystem based on Substrate. And it's a member of the Substrate Builders Program. That's always something you should check as well when you look at these Polkadot projects. Because if you'll notice, look at Ethereum. Any and everybody builds on Ethereum. But if you are part of the Substrate Builders Program, that does give your project more validity. The same if you were to get a Web3 grant. So always keep that in mind. That's just a tip there. It doesn't necessarily mean it's not a good project. If not, you know, if it doesn't have the grant and things like that. But those things do go a long way. As I mentioned earlier about the whole scenario with looking up the bicycle and how your information is given out, data is extremely valuable. And everyone's been giving it away for years. So what Fala Network is going to do is going to give you control of your data in a safe, trustless way where you authorize who gets to use that data. It is important for you to know that they do have their Canary Network on Kusama, and that is Kala. So K-H-A-L-A. So I always talk about that as well. The fact that these various projects are getting to test their project out on Kusama is great because it lets us know if they're functioning the way that they should. So the Canary Network is over on Kusama right now. Fala is essentially the decentralized cloud. They're offering confidential smart contracts. The input, output, and intermediate state are encrypted. So if you think about Ethereum, where you really have visibility to the smart contracts, The specific use case for Fala is because it is your data and it is encrypted, they're confidential smart contracts because all that information is hidden. That's what gives you privacy and protection. The user is able to fully control their data. It's based on TEE blockchain architecture, which is trusted execution environment. What this TEE is, It's a special location within your CPU that they can add code to and it isolates it from the outside. So literally, if someone were to hack into your operating system, they still would not have access to this TEE. Even Intel uses a TEE. But when it comes to Fala, it's going to be a network of TEE. And that's why they need the blockchain to connect this network in a safe and secured manner. I know a lot of times stuff like this may seem a little boring. Think about the stock market right now. How many projects, I'm calling them projects. I'm so used to calling it projects. How many companies, right, in the stock market are exciting? Of course, Tesla is, and there's several more, but there are a lot of boring companies that have given a major, major amount of growth and gains simply because the importance and the need of them, not just that they're flashy and exciting. I'm not a financial advisor. Before you invest in anything, make sure you seek the help of a professional. But I did just want to touch on that because a lot of times in the blockchain space, we get so caught up on certain projects that seem exciting Think about cloud computing and how big of a deal it is right now, and you hear about it all the time. But think about when that comes to a place where you can control your data, and really there's a war going on right now over your data, and there has been for years. Large companies are doing everything they can to get your data. Even largely, a lot of social media is really just about getting access to your data. That's how money's made. So I did want to point that out. 
This project's going a step further as well. They're also working with some other projects in the world of DeFi, NFTs, and traditional industry. So that's something else to think about. they got some great partners. So Fallon Network and the fact that it's on Polkadot is going to be vital to this space. The last thing I'll point out real quick is really quickly how it does it. So there's gatekeepers. They manage the distribution of keys and produce new blocks. There's nominators. They're entitled to nominate one or more gatekeepers. TEE miners. Now we spoke about the TEE. They provide computing power for the whole network as they keep their mining hardware online. And that's PCs or laptops. And then the FALADAO, responsible for the growth of the FALA network and open to all kinds of roles, developers, gatekeepers, investors, miners, and normal members. Now, this is a token that you can already buy, ticker symbol PHA, and they had a pop today as well. I'm not surprised, certainly because this is one of the projects vying for a parachain slot. Who are you going to trust your data with? Would you rather it be decentralized and you have control over it? Or would you rather it stay in the traditional format that it's in right now in Web 2.0? I just really wanted to touch the surface today and bring you this fifth project. Take some time to check out my other videos. The crowd loans are coming. And they are going to be coming this week, it looks like. I'm going to make sure and confirm that. Make sure you're ready. Remember, your polka dot cannot be bonded, staked. It can't be in a hardware wallet. Make sure, read the directions. Usually the app that they put up is very easy to work with. If you have any questions, make sure, leave me a comment. Ask me anything that you need to. I'll try to answer it and get back with you. Do me a favor. Make sure, if you enjoy the content today, hit the like button. A lot of people that watch my content actually are not subscribed. So consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure to hit the bell for notification so you can stay up to date on the latest content that I drop. I'm also going to add, we are at a point in this bull cycle where it's about to get crazy. And I really do believe life-changing money is about to be made. I'm not your financial advisor. What I will tell you, take from it what you'd like. You have to make sure that you have a plan. And whatever you do, don't be the one to give it all back to the market if you plan to sell. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.